the inflationary period that took off during the 70s was eventually quelled by the Federal Reserve, but it wasn't painless. Just ask a new home buyer of the 1980s. To tackle inflation, the central bank went through a multi-year phase of jacking up interest rates. The Fed did rein in inflation, but only after high interest rates sent the economy into recession twice in the 1980s and pushed mortgage rates over 18% in 1981. Now let's fast forward to today when the Federal Reserve is once again pressuring interest rates higher as it works to tackle our ongoing inflation problem that is across the country. It's hitting home shoppers particularly hard. Over the past four months, the average 30-year fixed mortgage rate has shot up from 3.11% in December to 5% as of last week. For example, if a borrower took out a $400,000 mortgage at a 3.1% rate, they would owe $1,710 per month. At 5% rate, that mortgage payment shoots up to $2,147 per month. That swift move up in mortgage rates amounts to an economic shock hitting the housing market. The question now is what will it do to the red hot home prices in 2022? And will the mortgage rates today that are on the rise crash the 2022 housing market? When mortgage rates are where they are today, home ownership becomes attainable for certain households. As mortgage rates rise, not only does it price out many home buyers, but it also causes others to lose their mortgage eligibility, which requires meeting lenders' strict debt to income ratios. So far, spiking mortgage rates, which are expected to post another uptick this week, haven't done much to rein in the housing market. Sure, there are signs the housing market is softening. However, it's only by a tad. We're still amid a historically tight and competitive housing market in which the lack of inventory leaves buyers with little choice but to bid up home prices and remove contingencies on their offers. When will the real softening of the real estate market come? Many experts are predicting it may occur this summer. Historically, the housing market chills out a bit as buyers and sellers alike go on summer vacations. There's another reason why real softening might not come until summer. There are so many home buyers trying to get into the market that even if some back off, others will be ready to take their place. The real estate log jam could delay any mortgage rate spurred cooling of the housing market. Every expert in the real estate industry knows that the housing market is log jammed, but nobody knows how far back that log jam goes. It may take a couple of months, if not longer, for all of this to shake out. Most of the real estate gurus believe that it would be good for the broader economy if spiking mortgage rates caused the housing market to cool down a bit. Over the past year, U.S. home prices have soared 19.2%. That's simply unsustainable. In fact, Black Knight, a mortgage technology and data provider, finds the typical U.S. household would now have to spend 31% of its income to make a mortgage payment on the average priced home. That's the highest level since 2007. The issue is that there are too many home buyers chasing too few of homes. Now, if soaring mortgage rates do end up reining in the rate of home price appreciation, it would likely be welcomed by the Federal Reserve. After all, the unprecedented run on home prices during the pandemic remains a major driver of the United States inflation problem that's going on today. But keep in mind, cooling or deceleration in the housing market doesn't mean home prices will fall or the housing market will crash. In fact, every major real estate firm with a publicly available outlook, including the Mortgage Bankers Association and CoreLogic, still forecast home prices to rise over the next coming 12 months. The housing market is starting to feel the impact of sharply rising mortgage rates 
and higher inflation taking a hit on new home buyers purchasing power, said Lawrence Young, the National Association of Realtors chief economist. Still, homes are selling rapidly and home price gains remain in the double digits. With today's mortgage rates expected to rise further as summer approaches, the National Association of Realtors predicts home transactions to contract by 10% this year and that home prices will likely readjust and for gains to grow around 5% for 2022. Total housing inventory across the United States at the end of March totaled 950,000 units on the market, up 11.8% from February and down 9.5% from one year ago, which was at 1 million homes for sale in the United States. Home prices have consistently moved upward as supply remains tight, NAR's chief economist says. However, sellers should not expect the easy profit gains that have been happening and should look for multiple offers on homes to fade as demand continues to subside. The question of, is the housing market going to crash, still remains. But most experts predict a gradual slowdown and not an all out housing market crash. Thanks for watching. Before you leave, please leave a comment below and hit the thumbs up. I'll see you on the next video.